Okay, I know this is not the my usual content, but I just did want to go through my Pokemon card collection here. So, well, not all of it, but these are the things I'm going through. Mainly just this, this, uh, this is Elite Trainer Box, and this tub are all cards that I'm going to be selling later at a card store. So, yeah. Then we have, then, yeah, the main meat of the collection is the binder. So, uh, my goal is to have one of, ev a card for every Pokemon. Not every, like, card in existence, but every, one, at least one card for every Pokemon. Which, it's hard, but I can, it's something I can actually accomplish on, like, getting every card in existence. So, yeah, my Kanto collection is, I think, the most complete out of all the regions I have. <laughs> yeah. Oh shoot, I forgot to mention, this is my most valuable card here, this Charizard. It's a reprint of the original, and it was in Celebrations. Got lucky and grabbed that. Okay, and this Hitmonchan is, I think, from the Diamond, I think, Hard Gold Soul Silver era, actually. Or Diamond and Pearl. So, yeah, I'll just highlight any notable cards I see. My only v Polygon card over here, and the only EV Lucian for Kanto. It's a Team Plasma one, so that's somewhat interesting. This Snorlax V. I have a Mew from Celebrations here. And I have the full Toto Down Lines, the only Jotos starter I have more than just the first evolution for. And I tried. I like to mention I try to use like regular cards and not Vs or GXs or EXs where possible. But sometimes I don't have any other cards for that Pokemon, so I'll use it like Ampharos here. Same thing with Umbreon and Scizor. Try my Avatar here. Card of War there too. And this Altaria, which, yeah, for, I, I don't know how to classify this type of card. And I don't know what kind of card this is, but if it's, you know, I think it's like my own Altaria. I, I think we had, a, I saw a not too like that one earlier. So this Metagross is, I think it's from the, like, Ruby and Sapphire era, I think, at least. I'm not 100% sure, though. Rayquaza V. Got him from a theme, like, from a theme deck, so I don't really know if that counts as getting a V. It's a bit of weird. Mm, nothing really too interesting with most of my Cine collections. Team Plasma Chat out there. Uh, I have the full Dark Shop line, which I think is kind of cool. It's Weavile. I like that because I just think the art's cool. Back to back, I have Leafy on V and Leafy on EX. I think even if I did get like regular Leafy on and Leafy on cards, I like to keep them this way because I think it's kind of cool to have V and, and EX for these two. I, I actually I do have a regular Leafy on, but I'm still keeping the V in here. I have this Mill Rotom. Once I get a regular Rotom, I'm it's gonna get replaced. Uh, cause I have a section later on in the binder for alternate forms. I have this for Diogo GX. Garatina came from the World Championship deck I got. Because I got the, them every year for a while, even though I never used them. But yeah, it's cool. This Arceus, Shining Arceus card. I, have, I forgot to mention, I have most of the Sinnoh Legendaries, actually. I'm just missing Azelf, Darkrai, and Heatran. 
for the Sinnoh Legendaries. At least I think those are all the ones I'm missing. I'm not, I'll have to double check later. But I get to black and white. For, always forget that Victini is actually the first Pokemon of the black and white decks. But, yeah. Then these Snivy and Servine here are both promo cards. Uh, I think, yeah, both black and white era promo cards. Which I'd like to. If I get a like, black and white era promo superior, that's going in here too, because I think it's just a cool thing to have. I have the full Oshwant line, but I, I'm i missing mo all of Tepig's line. Yeah. And I have all of the elemental monkeys, but that's not an accomplishment. I have the full Kogelder line, unfortunately. Yeah. This part of the book is actually fairly complete. I have a lot of Unova cards, despite not actually getting a lot of cards for the Black and White era. But it's because there's so many Pokemon from Unova, so there's a lot of cards for them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I also would like to mention, I have no idea why Carblast and Scavweer are separate from Shelbit and Aselgor here. Like, in the decks, because they... Like, they really should be together. But regardless, I have the Litwick line, including this Plasma Chandelure, and then the full Haxorus line. I think this is a black and white era Cobalion. And, yeah, that's interesting. I have this uh, shiny dual type Bisharp card. Yeah. I'm. I have uh, quite a few of the Unova Legendaries. This Zekrom card, which I think is pretty cool. Couldn't didn't get the Reshiram counterpart to it though. Which, speaking of which, I actually do have these uh this other Zekrom. And I Yeah and I think it will go in here later. I think I'll swap them out. Because this is technically not a GX or an EX or a V. So yeah. And anyway, um, Kalos is, like, I think pretty scarce, actually, despite the fact I have a lot of X and Y cards. Uh, Fennec in here, I'd like to mention because it has this Forbidden Light logo here. And I think I got this from, like, some sort of promo event at, like, a Toys R Us. But I have no rep memory of the event. So I have, I, I currently just don't know where this Fennec came from. Um, I have the, but I have the full Fennec line and Proking line. And from this point on in Kalos, it gets a bit odd what cards I do and don't have. As you can see, yeah, this part's pretty incomplete here. But I have the full Goon line. I need to get a better Goon card, because this one's in pretty bad condition. But I haven't found any other Goonies. This is my room. I like, I think this full Canyon's pretty cool. I have this Incineroar GX, even though I do have a, a regular Incineroar on my desk. But I'm putting this Incineroar GX in here because I don't know, I just kind of like it. Full Poppyo and Torque and like Litten lines. Except I'm missing Decidueye for Rowlet. <coughs> yeah. Aloha is pretty complete, I'd say. Because of the fact that I like Sun and Moon so much, so. I bought a lot of cards for that era. <coughs> Sorry. Mimikyu V. I do have other Mimikyu's, but I just put this one in here because, I don't know. I have a full like, set of the Celebrations Cosmog line. So, because yeah, it kind of tells a little story then. And Flowey. So, well, that's cool. Uh, speaking of Sun and Moon. I'm I have these two which I'll be I'm gonna do a review after I'm done with this. Which may come sooner than later because we're getting I have absolute, I have no ultra beasts other than Pleepo. But we'll probably get to them soon because I have very few cards for Gower. Yeah. It's cause I didn't I fell off of Pokemon when Sword Shield came out. So I played like halfway through Sword and Shield and then I just never played it for like two years. And then I finally got back into Pokemon after playing it again and watching 
Wait, let's look at some of the anime. So, yeah. I feel like the only notable thing for my selection collection is this uh, celebration is on Vento V. But now we're getting on to the oil and forms. So, yeah. I'm missing a couple for the oil and forms. Alright, when the Legends Arceus set comes out, I'm gonna have to put it here. And then they'll go after the Galarian forms on the list. Then I have alternate forms of Pokemon. This is where they're gonna go. So Mega Venusaur, uh, the or another Oricorio form, which I'm gonna need to put a lot of in this book. And the two alternate Christmas. No. Yeah. No. Sorry about that. And now my Pokemon V pets are going off, which I got tend to. Okay, okay, there we go. He should be good now. Yeah, back to this. The two alternate ultra necrosma forms, or just necrosma, I guess. Uh, Zen Mode, Galarian Dar, Manitan. This four Mega Steelix EX, which I never, I didn't actually know I had until I just flipped through an old binder I had. Same thing with the Incineroar GX. Then just random items and so trainer cards, which don't really care for, I'm just shoving them in the back. I do have this card though, which is, I think it's an original, uh, it's from base set 2 it looks like. That's pretty cool. And get back over to the, this is just energies, uh, more items and, uh, trainer cards. Yeah. Then I have these two from Celebration, so I have the Professor's Research Alt Art and then Imposter Oak. And then I have Here Comes Team Rocket and this Iris Fort, which again, another one thing I didn't know I had, but I do. Yeah. Then I have Digimon cards, which I only just started getting because Walmart just started stocking them. And I've only opened two packs, so my I don't have very many of them. And they're just ordered by their level here, so there. Because Digimon don't really have like a, a number associated with them. So yeah. And then my option cards here. Yeah, as I said earlier, these cards are just getting sold, so I'm not gonna go digging through them. And then up here, my desk, I have some. These two decks here, not actually Pokemon card decks, they're Digimon card decks, but I needed somewhere to put them. So, there. This Noivern deck actually does have Pokemon cards in it. So, this thing. I don't know. They gave away McDonald's for a while. Pikachu V Mugen. And then a snack of, of item and supporter cards, which I never got around to sorting for. Don't plan on sorting for now. Okay, that's pretty much all my Pokemon cards, so now we get to these two. So, these two I got yesterday, the, they're a little, they're supposed, so they're Pikachu's dressed up as the protagonist from Sun and Moon, which, uh, luckily, thanks to my Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, official guidebook I have over here, we can compare them. Yeah, we can, we can compare them now, which I actually think there's a better page in the book to, for comparing them. I've had this thing for years. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're pretty, yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah. So yeah, they are uh, very accurate to the to the characters. And back to the plushies themselves. Yeah, 
I think they're just they're actually just their standard Pikachu plush uh, and clothes. So. so yeah, they do have their back. They have like their accessories. To the this one has its backpack and here they in like her little purse. So yeah, uh, another another thing that like the clothes aren't yeah they're kind of a weird material. Not sure how much I like it. I'd say the this one yeah this shirt's better than this one. It feels softer. I'd say. And yeah, oh yeah, their tails. So yeah, this Pikachu has the male tail. And this one has the female tail. Except yeah, this one's like a bit too curved. So it's it's kind of hard to tell the difference. Cause yeah, this tail is too curved. I'd say for the male Pikachu, it needs to be a bit straighter. Yeah, yeah these are your standard Pikachu plush in other than the clothes. Cause yeah, if you pull up this shirt, you can see they have the stripes still. But if they were made specifically for this, they, they'd assume you wouldn't pull it up, so, yeah. Yeah, I, like, peeked under their hats, there's nothing interesting up there. Yeah, look, but other than that, they're pretty soft, they're, yeah, their accessories here are, are squishy, so that's always fun. It looks like a watermelon. Yeah, yeah they're, they're cute, pretty plush, they're pretty small, actually. Because I have another Pikachu plush here. Grab that. Look at them. Like, grab it. Here we go. Okay, so this is a silver Pikachu plush I have. I have, an, I have a regular one, down, but I don't have it with me right now. So, yeah. Okay, none of them want to stand up, I guess. So I'll just leave you. No? Okay, there we go. So here we go. Like this. So yeah, they're yeah fairly small in comparison to a regular Pikachu plush, but that's because you're getting two of them with it. So yeah, it's justifiable there because you're getting two plushies that are just stuck together. Yeah. And yeah, they, they could have done the scummy thing and made you buy like made them separate plushies, so you have to buy them separately. But. Mm. Yeah, it's a cute. It's cute that they decided to stick them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I don't really like him too much. He's made of a weird material. And yeah, he doesn't feel. He doesn't do great. And he's just the only one I have on me to compare with. So yeah. Um. That's about all I really wa wanted to talk about with these two. I think they're cute. I like them. I, I have the Sun and Moon ones specifically because uh, it's my favorite game. More specifically, Moon. Because I've had a copy of Sun for, like, since Christmas 2016. And I've played for a bit of, like, I played, like, 10 minutes of it and never again. Because I had Moon, and that was my, and I, was, I thought that was the better game. Mm. And so you can also tell that I, like, Pokemon Sun and Moon because I have a lot of the Adventures uh, Sun and Moon books here. Next to Hunter Shane Dragon on the shelf. Yeah. Also, I forgot Pokemon. I didn't never knew Pokemon Journeys had a manga until I saw that at the store. It's fun. Good re books. That's the Splatoon shelf because I have so many Splatoon books they have the shelf all themselves. I like to mention the Prima Strategy Guide here, because I found that at a school book fair for like seven dollars. So yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. And um, yeah, and the Squeak at the Comedy Show I have uh, all the in in current ones that have been translated except for Volume One. But all I really wanted to talk about today. So um, yeah. Um, bye.